Hey guys, I've got another Unity 5 tutorial today. Now this actually can be used in Unity 4 and previous versions and it's going to be showing you how to make an outlined effect or a sort of highlighting effect over objects that you might be able to click on or interact with. Now I'll show you the web page where you can actually find the shader code itself and you'll get the example. So if I bring my tab over here, you'll see on this side is that we will get a highlight if you've ever played games like I think it's Team Fortress and things like that. You will see that the character has an outline all around it and if you go through or past walls so if you're not be able to render the actual character um, it will show a full block fill so then you will see it actually through um, walls you can get a different version down at the bottom which is just the outline variant alone so you don't have any sort of cut in through walls but it's really dependent on what you need for your game but this is a nice shader and there's two sections to it there's a just a diffuse which controls the um, outline that's created with the thickness and there's a bumped version for that so if you've got a normal map that you need to use um, because the shader has to have that programmed in and then the out as I said the outline variant if you need to use that now I'll show you how to use the sh to make your own shader and actually use this sort of silhouette diffuse so what we want to do is on this page it's the silhouette outline diffuse on the unify community so it's wiki.unity3d.com and then you can search at the top outline diffuse now when you're on this page what you can do is you can I'll either put these on a website or you can copy it from here at the top it'll start by saying shader outline silhouette diffuse in red if we go down and pretty much just copy the entire um, s section we're after all the way up until the last curly bracket at the end just before it talks about having a bumped version we'll copy that we'll go straight back into unity and I've created myself a shaders folder if I right click on that create and then what I want to do is create a new shader and shaders are um, slightly different to materials that you create because a shader is what holds all your different textures and you can do all sorts of fun things with shaders if you know how to program so what we'll call this, we'll call this um, outline diffuse what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click that and it'll open up in mono develop and then when it's open it will already have a sort of set basic shader output for whatever we, meet, we might want to do so what we can do is highlight it all get rid of it and what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the script that we copied from the website. So we'll just paste that in. And you need to make sure that you've got this line at the top which talks about the outlined uh, silhouette diffuse because that will put it into the Unity shaders. And then we need to make sure that it's ended nicely. Then we'll click save. Then what we can do is we can close up the shaders. We'll go game object, 3D object and sphere. So we've got a sphere here, which is nothing crazy. Now what we're going to do is right click create a new material because we're going to be able to um, do the new things with it. So a new material, we'll call this outlined material. And from there, in Unity 5 on the right hand side, if you've got that there, um, you'll have your shader options. Before in Unity 4 it would be in your legacy shaders, but it will be called outlined and silhouette diffuse. And then we've got a certain few parameters that we can adjust. Now, if I change this color to red and I add this outline diffuse to my sphere, you will notice that we get an outline color. And now we can change it to whichever color we'd like to have maybe a highlight in our game. So if I have a bright yellow to make it obvious, you can change the outline width or thickness to have how thick you'd like it to be you can add a normal just diffuse map in there the main color just adjusts the color of your main texture or overall shader look now if we look through a wall there here you'll notice that you can still see the object through a wall and obviously you can use that other shader if you don't want to have that so if we press play and we'll just have a quick test you can see that my sphere has a nice outline over it. What we can do is if we bring this cube over and I press play, 
and then I go away, you'll be able to notice that you'll be able to see things through walls if you've got maybe some interactable objects in your scenes. So again, what you can do is say you want to make a bumped version of that same um, shader. What you can do is create a new shader by right clicking, um, paste this script all the way from there down to just before we get to the outlined only variant. And then, then you'll be able to create a new material with that bump shed. And the outline only variant is what you can copy um, just do the same thing and you want to get an outline. And I will put all of these three on my website. But this is just a really short tutorial to show you how to make something quite cool. Very straightforward and thanks to the uh, information on the Unify Wiki. So hopefully this helped everybody out and helped you create a basic outline. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.